Welcome back. This next section is dedicated to one of the biggest physical forces all trail designers must learn to master. Any guesses what that might be? If you said water, you're absolutely correct. Water is always an issue. In order to have a sustainable trail, we have to manage the impact of water. So we'll cover water management techniques such as horizontal flow and vertical roll, as well as how to shoot the grade and grade reversals. We've all seen erosion on trails that are too steep for too long with nowhere for the water to go but straight down. We've also seen trails that are washed out because they're on flat ground where water collects or in the fall line between ridges. Water management is the key to reducing braiding, widening, ponding, and rutting on the trails we design. A sustainable trail has the constant flow and roll. Flow is considered the rhythm of the trail. It's the curvilinear horizontal alignment. Roll is the vertical rise and fall of the trail grade. A great trail should constantly move from side to side and also be constantly moving up and down. This is essential for both sustainability and for providing a great rider experience. Water management essentially means that we have to start by looking at the trail's design through the eyes of an engineer. A designer has to look at the ground and understand how it will react to having a trail placed upon it. This means that we have to understand compaction and displacement. Compaction is the direct force down on the soil from the machine, which will cause gaps between soil particles to be displaced and the soil will become hard. This is what forms the ruts where the tires of a machine are consistently placed. Displacement is when the soil particles are moved by the rotational forces of the tires on a machine. This is what causes berms to build up on the outside of turns. Shooting grade is the process of testing the elevation in order to level or slope it. Shooting grade properly is critical to every facet of trail construction. It's vital to know where your low point is for drainage. Never rely on eyeballing to determine grades, especially on flat ground or when determining the low drainage point on a trail. It's important to know how to calculate the grade of a trail between any two points. This is where you take your vertical rise or fall and divide it by the length of your horizontal run and multiply it by 100. Then you'll know the percentage of tread for that section of your trail. It's recommended to use a clinometer like this in the field to get your measurements. If the grade is too long, too straight, or too steep, the trail will not be sustainable. In this last section, we'll cover grade reversals. If you only take one thing away from this lesson, it should be grade reversals. This is the primary tool designers use to manage water. They provide positive drainage, low maintenance, and are the most effective way to reduce tread watershed size. A grade reversal is a drainage feature designed into a trail and a rolling dip is a constructed drainage feature that can be added to a trail. To be effective, the grade must reverse, not just flatten. The height of the grade reversal must be sufficient to remain effective after the tread is cut in during construction and after the lowering effects of compaction. Making a grade reversal too small is a common mistake for trail designers. Displacement will also affect a grade reversal if the low point of the reversal has a curve in it. This curve will cause a berm to build up on the outside of the turn, so it is important that the low point of a grade reversal includes a short tangent or straight line to allow water to drain. There should be a turn up on each side of this short tangent to keep the water from flowing down the trail. If at all possible on a new trail, design in grade reversals and avoid using rolling dips. And whenever possible, use the alignment to help turn the water in the desired direction. A turn to the right will help water turn to the right. Make the length of the reversal as long as possible. A good minimum is 30 to 50 feet. Use the terrain to create grade reversals. Roll into and out of natural draws and depressions. As you can see, managing water is a huge part of trail design. Erosion can be managed, but never stop. It's a continual force of nature. We can minimize erosion with good trail design and management. Exactly. That's why it's up to us to use the tools like horizontal and vertical flow, shooting grade and grade reversals up front in the design stage to manage water effectively. Let's take a break here to review the key points covered in this section and to get familiar with how to use a clinometer.